Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Health Forensics. And we're here to review this Faraday cage experiment. And we've got three different Faraday cages. This is ungrounded aluminum window mesh. This is grounded aluminum window mesh. It's grounded to the earth pin or the ground pin of the utility system. And this is ungrounded chicken wire. Now, every plant that I have grown in a Faraday cage either dies or shows this very, very retarded growth. And these are Diefenbachia plants. And you can see over here, this one may actually be dead. I'm not actually sure right now. And we have a similar looking plant here that was grown inside the chicken wire. And this one is looking dead right now. So I'm starting to come to the conclusion that there's very serious biological problems occurring inside Faraday cages. And you probably wouldn't want to live inside a Faraday cage. And unfortunately many homes have actually been constructed as Faraday cages. So the next part of this experiment is we're going to put a much larger plant inside our ungrounded aluminum window mesh screening Faraday cage. And here is that plant. So this plant is showing the typical growth of the Diefenbachia, the leaves of the size of your hand. And this is a very healthy specimen. And we're going to put it inside the large Faraday cage and we're going to see what happens to it. So that's where we're up to with Faraday cages. So it doesn't matter if the holes are large or if the holes are small. What happens to the plants when they go in there is they all show stress. And that's quite concerning. So as soon as I have an update on this experiment, I will post another video. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.